Hi, my name is Jamie Schmotzer. I'm an instructor for the Old World Alliance. And today I'm going to talk about the Mother Canteen Carrier by Centerline Systems. All right, so this thing actually packs a lot. It's pretty impressive. So, first of all, on the outside, attached to it, I keep a tinder pouch from the Hidden Woodsman, okay? Right? And I just, you know, especially when it's empty, I just attach that right to the strap. And it's always there for me, right here. And I can open it up, put in Tinder, attach it back on, okay? Now next in order, I've got, uh, I've got these gloves. What I did was I attached just this steel ring to make a loop so that then I can attach these gloves with this Velcro Jimmy thing here. All right, there you go. Got my gloves on there. So if I need gloves, they're right there, okay? Now here, I showed this in my, uh, in, in another video. I'm using a Maxpedition little tab thing through the Molly, but upside down with one of these type of clips, okay? to which I've attached a VanQuest dump pouch, okay? So right here, this just unrolls, and I've got a dump pouch that, as a matter of fact, is big enough, plenty big enough, to put another water bottle in, right? You can see that, that water bottle's right in there, okay? So that that's a, a pretty massive dump pouch, so if, if I'm out and, and I'm gathering a whole lot of tinder and that Hidden Woodsman tinder pouch isn't enough, I've got this VanQuest right here too. And, and by the way, usually if I'm just going to take this out with me, I'm in a place close to home where I'm not worried about getting into a survival situation. I'm usually collecting tinder, so having two tinder bags isn't a bad idea. So there's that. <clears throat> Now, right here, there is a pouch, and in that pouch, I've got one of these Strike Force, uh, what it's called, yeah, Strike Force uh, ferro rods, right? Inside of there is a ferro rod. I gotta loosen this up a little bit so it'll come out. Usually keep that pack pretty tight. So we've got this ferro rod right here. Now, these ferro rods are not the soft kind like the firesteel.com. This is a very hard ferro rod. And so I use a different technique with this ferro rod than I do any of the soft ones. And I'll show you how I do that. I actually do it with my thumb, right? Just like that, right? So I just put that there and I'll push with my thumb, right? It's just a different technique. That's all. All right. And uh, sure enough, on the other end, I've got some tinder on the inside of this thing. Right. I've got three of those. These are the with the micro infernos or whatever from uh, Self Reliance Outfitters. So I've got that in here, and I've got a uh, some kind of critter over there. I've got a Bic lighter, and I've got some of these homemade waxed rounds. All right, and that all fits just right in this side pouch. There's actually room to spare, but that'll work just fine. So I've got a little fire kit built in here in this side pouch. All right, good to go. Now, let's look at the other side. 
Okay, so the other side I've got uh, paste beads. I've got, uh, this is a dummy cord to a Swiss Army knife I'll show you in a minute. Over here, I'm using one of these lock systems. Right, just press down on there and the whole thing opens up. And I've got some Gorilla Tape. I've got a bank line. I've got paracord, right? Pretty cool little locking thing there. Works pretty good. So I'll put that back on, the paracord, the bank line. And I just use a little leather thong. I'll lock that back on, okay? Then in this pouch, like I said, we've got the dummy corded the Swiss Army knife. This is a Hercules model. And there's room for more stuff in there. Okay, now there's this big pouch up front, right here. And inside of that, I've got... This is a pouch that I got from... Um, I always forget. Bushcraft Outfitters. And this is my first aid kit. It's kind of hard to get in and out, so I'm not going to pull it out all the way. Uh, but that is my Bushcraft uh, Outfitters pouch in red, the first aid kit. Okay, so now the inside of this pouch. What's really cool about this in particular is that you don't need to take your canteen out in order to use it. If I want a drink, I just open it up, I have a drink, close it. And I didn't have to reach inside of a haversack. I didn't need to grab it out from, you know, in, in a backpack or any of that. It's just right there. It's ready to go. You drink. Right? So, let's undo this part. I'm going to start taking stuff from the back first because uh, it's going to be easier to take this canteen out if I do that. So, I've got a titanium spork from Snow Peak. Real happy with that. And I've also got this really cool spoon. I got this from uh, John over at Badger Claw Outfitters. Used to be Badger Claw Leatherworks. And uh, it's just a nice little soup spoon or for tea, whatever. So I've got both of those in the back. The Pathfinder Canteen will fit in here, but it's kind of hard to get it in and out. Um, so just understand that. Inside, I'm not going to take it out, but I've got the Pathfinder Canteen Cup, which also is kind of hard to get in and out. But it'll get in there. Now one of the nice things about this, I don't know if you could see, but uh, there's, there's this black material on the inside. It's really durable. Um, so if you spill something in there, it's, uh, it's not going to get the Cordura all wet because it's kind of lined with this black stuff. Um, I don't know if you could see it better this way. I don't know. But anyway, and of course there's a drain hole on the bottom, right? So, but that will fit in there just really hard I mean, right now I would have to unpack everything well basically my first aid kit in order to leave room to get that canteen cup out so it is what it is but in the back I've got my fish mouth spreader which uh, most of y'all know how that works right you take a fish mouth spreader and there you go. Now I can hang that from a uh, chain or a rope or whatever over fire, right? P pretty clever. Right. So I've got one of those. There's a little slip pouch in the back. Right, right here behind the canteen cup, I'm going to pull out what's next, which is 
just a cheap emergency poncho. And then I've also got the canteen lid. And I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that first aid kit out. And now I can get the canteen cup out. So this is the biggest thing I don't like about the Pathfinder canteen cup is these two things right here. They kind of stick out. I don't know if you can see that, how they kind of stick out. Right, right there. And um, I don't know, they just kind of, you catch on stuff and I don't know. So that's the deal with that. So it will fit, but anyway. Another option is, and I, I do want to show this, this is a tapered Nalgene, right, tapered on the bottom, nests into one of these Stanley cups that tapers at the bottom, right, and that will fit into my Snow Peak 700. It all fits right there, right, and then you just put the lid to the... Uh, the lid to the Stanley, which will also fit on the Snow Peak, you just put underneath, right? And that will fit in here just fine, right? And same deal, this thing will, will fit right over it to lock it down, and then if I want to drink, I can just undo it. Actually works a little better if I give a little separation here with that handle and then all I got to do is undo the water and drink and I don't have to take it out so that will also fit in there and one of the nice things about using this setup instead of this is that it actually gives me some extra room on the side so I could put in like uh, a mora or something like that if I wanted to. There's enough room to put some things in there. But there's yet another option. Just a moment. Nope. Nope. Can I help you with something? Oh. So I photographed it. That's cool. And I uh, told Siri, showed me a big cat track. It's a mountain lion footprint. Oh, really? It's soft mud right down there. That's crazy. Can you see it? Uh, no. I mean the picture? Oh, sure. I mean, what uh, a mountain lion would, uh, would, uh, you know, travel a lot and just be passing through, but that, that's just what I googled. Okay. It's a cat track. And there's. Wow. And I put, I got one with my foot. You see how big that is? There was a lady with a big dog. Her big, that Great Dane, his paw would fit right in there. Wow. His whole foot. That would be interesting. I'm not. I've never heard of any mountain lions in Ohio. Yeah, I thought I saw one once in southern Ohio, but it was such a fleeting glimpse. I was like, did I really see? That? I've seen bobcats down there. Yeah. Well, this had the tail of a mountain lion. I'm like, wow. But it was just a fleeting glimpse, just him disappearing yeah. in the woods. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Well, I would certainly share that with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, t I told the people who had the big dog. Yeah. <laughs> Showed them the track and what I thought it was and why. Sure. Yeah, call the... Uh, well, this is a... Yeah, your hat and all this stuff makes you look like a park person. Well, uh, I would... What? This is a Cuyahoga Falls Park. Well, this is... This is a city park. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. Yeah, if it, even if it is a mountain lion, it'd just be passing through. Sure. They cover a huge oh, territory. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, usually they avoid people like the plague. But... 
Right. Yeah. Have a good day, sir. So, this is a hydro flask. Let's say it is super hot outside and I want some ice and I want it to stay cold. Let's say it's up in the 90s. Will that fit in there? Why, yes, it will. Will this fit over it? Why, yes, it will. So I can take a hydro flask out in this thing too, right? And again, you just take it off to take your drink. You don't need to take it in or out, none of that. Hydro flask will fit on there just fine. So this is a very versatile kit. It will allow me to use these sort of bottles or a canteen. Now Centerline Systems also sells one that is for these sort of bottles. But the one that's for these kind of bottles won't fit one of these. So the canteen carrier, in my opinion, is just more versatile because I can, I can use it either way. So that's what's going on with that. I, I, I'm really a big fan of this thing. It was like a hundred bucks or something, which is expensive, but it's really, really, really thought out. I mean, well thought out. I don't know, you still can't see real good, but this whole in, inside is like a blackened, I don't know, it's kind of, it's got some kind of grippy texture to it, but uh, it's a good design. And it, it, if, if all I'm doing is going out on a little scout, you know, <clears throat> maybe looking for, you know, Tinder or whatever. What do I really need? Well, this pretty much gives me what I need. I'm going to want water. You know, got to stay hydrated. I've got this. This is a pretty robust first aid kit. I mean, really. This is more than a boo-boo kit. Um, this will handle quite a bit and um, you know if if, uh, if I need my gloves if I'm harvesting you know or foraging for tinder I might want some gloves I've got this tinder pouch I've got the dump pouch I've got uh, your fire kit I've got a Swiss army knife I've got some cordage I mean and you do whatever you want with yours this is what I do with mine so if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, you know the drill. And if you've got one of these, leave a comment on what you put in it or how you use it. When do you use this? Do you use it in conjunction with the haversack or do you just take it out by itself or what do you do? Let me know.